households over time. It is widely used economic static that help assesses inflation and the cost of living. The CPI basket comprises of 448 items in rural and 460 in a urban category. So there are four kinds of uh, the CPI that is industrial workers, CPI IW, consumer price index for agricultural labor, AL, consumer price index for rural laborers, RL and consumer price index for urban non-manual employees. CPI is now using a new series based on the base year 2012 for all of India as well as states and union territories separately for rural, urban and combined. Consumer price indices are published by the CSO, Ministry of Statics and the Program Implementation, MOSPI. Now the headline inflation versus code inflation, what is that? So let's uh, um, consider two important terms that is headline inflation. It is a measure of a total inflation within an economy. So it includes price rise in a food, fuel and all other commodity. The rate expressed in a WPI usually denotes the headline inflation. So the consumer price index value are often higher and WPI values uh, traditionally make headlines. Now the core inflation that is underlying or the non-food inflation. It is termed as a or used to denote the extent of inflation in an economy but it does not consider the inflation in a food and fuel. This is a concept derived from headline inflation and there is no index for direct measurement of a core inflation and it is measured by excluding the food and fuel items from the WPI or the CPI. Now the causes of inflation, so there are the certain causes that is the demand pull factors uh, rise in population, black money, rise in income, excessive government expenditure and the cost push factors are the infrastructural bottlenecks, uh, rise in the minimum support price, rise in international prices, hoardings and the black marketing and rises in direct price. Demand pull factors considered as a means that demand can be arises by following reasons. They, there may be the rise in populations. Uh, if the money can be stored or invested in a black money or the, they can want it to store the product and create the scarcity of a demand and then sell with the higher prices. So it can be comes into category of a black money, rise in the income. Uh, if the income of the buyers can be rise, so they can uh, buy at a higher prices. Excessive government expenditure, so budget can uh, of the government can be reduced. So it can also cause the inflation that are the demand pull factors. And what are the cost pulls? Where the cost can be increased means the minimum uh, support price MSP can be increased, infrastructural productions or the distribution cost can be increased, international prices are hiking, hoarding and black marketing kind of things are going on and rise in the indirect taxes. Now what measures can be taken for controlling it? Both the government and the central government that is uh, in a case of India RBI try to tackle inflation with their policies that is uh, the fiscal policy and the monetary policies respectively. Fiscal policy is what? It corresponds to the tax related measures taken by government to control inflation uh, means the money supply and RBI through the various instruments or the policies like the CRR, repo, reverse repo rates uh, with the help of this they can help to control the inflation. So administrative measures taken by the government like the strengthening of the public distribution system and also play a crucial role in a curbing inflation. Here is a difference between the CPI and WPI in a pinpoint methods. Uh, like the meaning to so CPI, it reflects the average change in the prices paid by the consumer at the retail label, whereas a WPI, it reflects the changes in the average wholesale prices for goods sold in a bulk. Published as I already told you, now base year the same that is 2012 and 2012 for both the uh, poly, uh, inflation indices. Frequency of publishing the monthly in case of a CPI and um, on the uh, for the WPI uh, this can be a monthly basis primarily or the weekly basis now the source the CPI item weights are based on an average household expenditure gathered from consumer price uh, expenditure surveys and WPI weights uh, based on the production values measured at a final stage of a transactions and a WPI at the final first stage of a transactions price paid by the consumers and WPI is a wholesale dealers and manufacturer Numbers of items 448 in a ruler, 460 in a urban and where is in a WPI category 697 articles in a three categories that is primary, fuel and manufactured products. Weightage of a food item 
food group is has a weight of 39.06 percent in cpi and in wpi 24.4 percent status of a service services are included in the cpi like housing education medical and services are not included in the wpi now the commodities included education communication transportation recreation clothing food repairs housing and medical mineral machinery basic metals these are included in the wpi so in short we can say that wpi is based on a consumers uh, at a retail level means a consumer wants to buy at a uh, mrp level or the particular price level the, on that basis the cpi can be calculated and where is a wpi calculated at the production level wholesale level is the wholesalers are ready to sell to the in a bulk to the uh, shopkeepers on that prices the wpi has been calculated so this is all about from uh, my side for today's session hope you like uh, this video and it will be helpful for understanding this concept so thank you very much for uh, listening me patiencefully and uh, we will be uh, there with the next video with new topic thank you have a nice day